Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Freaking stoked. Okay. So, you know how sometimes you listen to a song or you... Oh, by the way. Hi. I'm Adrian. This is Thrashing Code, and it's a reaction video. But I got to tell you a little story first, like I do sometimes, because you got to have the context for why I'm so freaking excited. So... You know how you listen to a song and you're like, oh, it's an amazing song. I really like that. It's it's one of those things where I'm like, I want to go buy all of the whole discography of that particular band, blah, 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 blah. And you're just excited. And then you miss who it is. You just completely miss it. You miss like the video or something and somehow it's not in your history and you can't figure it out. Or like you just heard it somewhere and you forgot who they said it was. And you're like, you just, you're frozen. You're stuck. You don't know who it was. And you just have to continue living life not knowing who that amazing band was. And sometimes you go weeks, days, years even, before you ever fumble back into that band and you go, holy shit, that's that band. Well, I just had one of those moments where I saw the thumbnail and I'm like, that's that dude. I've been wanting to check out that band. I really liked the first song I heard by them months ago or like a year ago. And I just now saw this and I saw that there's a new relatively new it's been out for a while now but for me it's a relatively new song and but there's more there's so much more so the band is unprocessed very progressive band and the song is called die on the cross of the martyr which already known unprocessed this is gonna get tricky but this song features and this is where it gets so much better like, this isn't just the steak dinner. This is a steak dinner, plus you get a bowl of gumbo and etouffee and garlic green beans and just like the whole kit and caboodle of everything awesome in the universe at one time. It features Tim Henson and Scott LePage of Polyphia. I haven't gotten this excited about a song since I realized that when they dropped that song with Steve I and I was watching that song and this is before I was doing reactions, but I was watching that song, and then all of a sudden Steve Vai's in it, and I'm like, what the hell? I was blown away. But one day, I'll tell you more about that whole story, because that was an amazing day. But we're going to react. I'm going to watch this video now, and please join me. This is Unprocessed, Die on the Cross of the Martyr, featuring Tim Henson and Scott LePage. I have very, very high expectations for this video. If it sucks, it's going to be a bad day. Yeah, it's, it's already not so. Love that modern styling influenced by Bolivia. When I get this and I get a good recording of this, not off of YouTube, and I put it in the stereo with that full ass high five range, God, it's gonna be so heavy. I'm gonna burn the cross upside down. Oh, if you're religious, don't watch this one. <laughs> Kill your boy. 
Here's Tim. Is that? Yeah, he's rocking it. Eight string. This is absolutely beautiful. The artistry of it. Yeah, I knew it would be like that. These these guys can't produce. I don't think they could produce bad stuff if they tried. Or maybe I should say, they couldn't produce simpleton music if they tried at this point. There's just, they're full of too much. Their, their depth is too much for them to merely try to produce or even show a facade of the fakeness of writing simpleton music. Yeah, it's obviously gonna have taste and depth that only people that have gone through the trials and tribulations of being able to, learning to be able to play, and being able to play, because you don't just learn how to play like this, you have to be able to play like this to do it. Cream of the crop, top level players. Badass. Nice. Very, very nice. <coughs> so that was unprocessed. Die on the cross of the martyr. I'm impressed. As I was the first time I watched any of his stuff. Um, whew. Yeah, so. Where do I start in, in picking this one apart? Reviewing this one. So the lead in immediately smack in the face like this this is going to be esoteric complexity with tastefulness interjected into it as one does with polyphia's stuff and unprocessed in his material the guitar parts amazing amazing having three guitars put together like this and the thing is when you put together three guitars you can't just play guitar i see it i see bands try to do this you know where they're all trying to play like an acoustic guitar and they're just strumming stuff. And it just, it usually sounds like shit or it just sounds kind of dumb. Especially if you play guitar, it just sounds kind of bad. If you're not playing individual parts, there's not a whole lot of reason to play exactly the same damn thing. There are situations where it might be. But usually, if you have two guitarists or more than two, you have parts. You play parts to complement each other. And it adds so much depth and context and meaning and insight and introspection into what, you, what you're putting together, what you're composing, what you're building and creating in that piece of music to a, to a very extensive level, right? Having three top-tier guitarists like that come together and put together a piece where they complement each other with esoteric, advanced, complex pieces like that that just make it seem flowingly simple to do is just amazing. Like, it is a privilege, an honor to even just watch people like this play music. It, it, this is not something, you know, a lot of people believe, you know, oh, you can always just learn how to do something. No, you can't. You, you, at, at a certain point, you can't get to this level. There's a certain amount of natural ability that you have to have, like you have to have a certain amount of dexterity, you have to have a certain amount of mental capacity to even be able to play this way. You can't just train up to that level. Not gonna happen. Just never, ever gonna happen for, for most people. I, I spent years, years learning to play guitar. And I'm not bad. Like I can play a lot of advanced stuff, but like ripping through this, I mean, just to learn this song, just to learn one of the pieces of this song would take me a freaking year, especially at this point in my life. But even when I was like top of my game, this was tough. 
this would be tough to achieve something even close to this. Um, you just don't go and do these types of things unless you have just be like dedicated, but also you just have this as a talent that you can do, as a skill that you can do, and you have the ability to deliver. And Tim Henson, Scott LePage, and this Unprocessed Dudes, which at my apologies, I've completely spaced on his name. And I'm so glad I fumbled back into this dude's band again and his music. They're, they're just top-tier people. They're top-tier performers. And amazing. Um, with that, I ain't even going to go through a list of negatives or anything. Uh, this is good stuff. I'm excited and looking forward to listening to more of their stuff. Uh, it's just, it's just great. It's just great. I love seeing people that are not just at the top of their game, but that are the top of that skill level. You know, this, this is like the, the, the Olympics, right? They're, they're the top performers. Like nobody else can do this. These are the record setters. Love seeing people like this perform and share what they have created with the world. Just next level. Awesome. With that, Catch you next reaction video. Zadrin, I'm out.